on! Ew, it's everywhere! The water's turning to blood! It's the second coming! <laughs> oh my gosh! Hi everybody, this is Jen here with a new episode of Let's Play Asagao Academy Normal Boots Club. In the last episode, we had a rather horrific incident at the hot springs. And, but PVG's feeling a whole lot better. We told PVG that we want to be his, like, BFF, like, want to be his friend for, like, the rest of our lives. And that's adorable, but I feel so bad for PVG being friend-zoned. So freaking bad. But we're on the right track because, checking the journal here, tournament points, we filled up the entire bar. We're at 30 points. We could totally mess up on decisions all we want now. But we only have one choice left to make. The notes, they started again. <laughs> um, I thought I'd like mention a little bit of what's going on around me. Uh, it's about 10.40 in the morning and it's raining outside here. And which pretty much means that every single Californian is probably on the freeway freaking out because there's rain. Which is why you stay home on rainy days in California. Anyway, I uh, already read this line where everyone's like, Who? How many people would like a game about living with animals enough to wait outside at midnight for it? Again, you'd be surprised. We got into a line, we got into line behind a man with a blue dyed mohawk. Okay. It won't be long now. Uh, Hana, are you okay? I looked at him from where I was dancing on the street. Y yeah why? We're cold. You look like you need to pee. N no, I'm, I'm fine. F f he looked at me from head to toe as if seeing me for the first time. Ugh. Why are you wearing a skirt? It's cold! <laughs> We're wearing a skirt? Hana, think with your brain! He, it, yeah, well, I didn't want to want to go home and ch ch change. Well, I'm a bit cold, too. So, so maybe we should huddle together to preserve warmth. <laughs> PVG. You slick son of a gun. Eh? Plus, I'm wearing a jacket. So... <laughs> PVG opened his normal boots club jacket to me, looking away. So, you can... I didn't need to be told twice. I walked in the folds of his jacket and hugged him. He wrapped his arms and the ends of his jacket around us. Thankfully, I was tiny enough to fit inside it. Only the tip of my bow poked out of the top. PVG was a heating pad and I slowly warmed up and stopped shivering. PVG set his chin on top of my head like a little footrest. For his chin, so chin rest. He smelled really good, like vanilla and cinnamon. <laughs> Why did he smell like vanilla and cinnamon? <laughs> PVG tried to talk to me, but no one. But with one side of my face against his chest and the other side against his jacket, I could barely understand him. It sounded like his mouth was full of marshmallows. What? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, sure? Good. We stood there in silence for a while, then PBG's chin started wiggling on top of my skull. It felt really good, like he was giving me a massage or something. His beard was tickling me. <laughs> and then I realized that he was talking to me, and I just couldn't hear him. I nuzzled into his chest, and he stopped talking for a bit. Then he started rubbing my back. What was he saying? He's totally confessing, and you are a moron! Was I supposed to answer? I stayed where I was, and the seconds tick ticked away, not ticket. Oh. His head lifted off the top of mine, and he opened his jacket to look down at me. The line moved. It looks like we can go in and get our games! Yeah! Inside? Yes, let's go! Wait. Our games? He wants you to play. It must have been a slip of the tongue. PVG approached the register while I examined the games in the shelf just to the side of it. I had no idea what most of them were, but there were several I was interested in. 
One had pictures of cows on it, Harvest Moon, another group of teenagers like they were lost in a city. Hmm, that could be anything. These were all games for the handheld I had, but when I looked at the price... But when I looked at the price tags, I balked. There was no way I could get one anytime soon. Dejected, I went to stand with PVG at the register. MC, here's your order, Mr. Butter Gamer. Oh, I pre-ordered too. <gasps> he bought Hana a game. This man is smooth. You did? You did? You did! Sorry, here's the other copy. Thanks! PVG paid the man and we left the store with the games in hand. PVG was... He just knew in advance to get two games. As we went back to the train station, I side-eyed him. Wonderful conversation. Beautiful conversation! They were made for each other! Are we done? Ugh, what? <laughs> Nothing. We made it to the station just as the train was loading and managed to sprint inside just in time. That was close, but at least we're inside. And look, we got the whole carriage to ourselves. He spread his arms out wide, the plastic bag. He... And the plastic bag he, ha bag he had rustled, I can read. He looked at the bag as if surprised. Oh, right. <laughs> he pulled out one copy of the game and held it out to me. What? This! This is for you! I got it for you. Sorry I didn't give it to you back at the store, but I wanted to be sure we didn't miss the train. <gasps> I can't take this from you! It's way too expensive! Don't worry about it. I got it for you. But... He pouted. And if you don't take it, I'll be sad. <laughs> okay. Yay! You could be, t like, two-player co-op all the way. You could visit each other's towns, and all your visit your villagers will move away, and it'll be frustrating. Yes! I took the game and looked at the cover. There were small animals on the round green earth with yellow letters reading Animal Intersection across the top. A little yellow dog and some pink fluffy creatures smiled at the different humans on the screen. Tears filled my eyes. My first game. Happy? Uh, am I happy? Oh my gosh! <laughs> I started jumping up and down right there in the middle of the train compartment. Yay! I got my first game! I got my first game! I remember my first game. Actually, I don't. <laughs> I know I got, like, the PS2 console because I was, like, because Kingdom Hearts came out around that time and I tried to play it and I suck at Kingdom Hearts so bad. <laughs> I have better fond memories of getting Pokemon Sapphire. Anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna play this all night! <laughs> eh. Wait and play it in after school tomorrow. What? Why? Oh man, he's gonna see something adorable in his world and he wants you to see it. Oh. <laughs> Just trust me, this game works with a real time clock, so you'll have more fun that way. I sighed. Okay. TVG grinned at my dismay. Anyways, let's get you to bed. Transition. PVG walked me to the front of the girls' dorm like a true gentleman. When we got to the door, he hesitated. Hey. Hey, Hana. Yes? Do you think... He trailed off, staring at me. I smiled at him. Do I think what? Um... Um... Never mind, it was not the... PVG! Hana's not gonna do anything, you're not gonna do anything, no one's gonna do anything! This episode's gonna go on forever! Thanks for coming with me tonight. Oh, no problem. He pulled the door open and waved me inside. My lady. <laughs> Why, thank you. 
<laughs> I giggled. Seriously, thank you. This means more to me than you know. I mean, it's nothing, really. See you later. Good night, PPG. Bye. Night, Hana. <sighs> ship it a ship. Shipping everything. Okay. When I got back to the room, Mai was already asleep. I changed quietly and climbed into bed, game in hand. I couldn't wait to play it tomorrow. I slipped it underneath my pillow and snuggled into bed. What a wonderful night. <laughs> we gotta be getting close! Hana. Hana! Wake up! You need to look at this! I raised my head groggily from my pillow, hardly registering where I was. Mai stood over me, something like a smile on her face. What? What is it? Also, you're gonna be late, but look at this. She handed me a piece of paper written with a familiar scrawl. Another note. It seems like it. Read it. Oh, here we go. Oh, gosh. I want part of my world. If he goes, I want to be where the people are. I want to see, want to see him dancing. <laughs> okay. Imagine a ball on an evening so swell. I can be Prince Eric. You can be Ariel. <laughs> oh my gosh. Disney's going to flag this. Okay. We'll dance on the shore where we both fell in love and saw the moon dancing so far up above. We'll be just like that pair. I promise it, dear. Your hair glistens glowing red off this pier. Such a beautiful sight from this glistening beach. Do you have the Little Mermaid? On Disney DVD. Are you sure it's not for you? When I finished reading, I cast a glance at my. What's wrong? You don't like it? I wish it were different somehow. I don't know. It just doesn't feel right. <laughs> to my surprise, my burst out laughing. Uh... What? What is it? <laughs> You're a true main character, Hana. Oh boy, this is great. You're dense as a brick. Bless your heart. How would you rather... How would you rather the note was written then? I don't know. I don't know. It, it's too... I mean, it's it's an awkward note, but it's not the right kind of awkward, you know? Uh-huh. I guess I want it to make me feel more like... Ah! She's thinking about PBG in that way, yeah. Of course, I could never forget you. I usually feel like I'm a joke to people, but when I'm with you, I feel like I'm more than that. Oh, Hana, it's nice to see you right when I wake up. Man, this day is going to be good. Uh... More like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hana, dear. Mai was leaning against her desk, doubled over in laughter, hitting it with something more than... with more than human strength. Mm. What? What is it? My flicked a tear from her eye, wheezing. Oh, sometimes I just want to strangle you. <laughs> In a, as a friend. Are you ready for class yet? You woke up late, so we can't even get breakfast. <laughs> ah! Shuffle, shuffle, change. I'm ready. Oh, the bread's in the mouth. Anime trope numero. Who even is counting anymore? <sighs> so glad I drew that picture with me having my game controller in my mouth for the thumbnail. It's so good. <laughs> Gonna be late for anime school. Come on. I was unpacking my backpack before class that morning when, to my astonishment, Ian approached me and began a conversation. Anna. Anna, my good friend. How are you? I squinted at him. Fine. How are you? <laughs> oh, I'm doing well. In fact, my tournament training has been going better this year than ever before. I just landed the top 20 highest scores for Japan at number 20, but still. And, uh, how are you doing with your training? Yeah. Fine. I smiled brightly at him on one hand, one hand on my treasured phone. <laughs> Dang, foiled again. <laughs> Ian, it's... 
I cocked my head to the side, unsure of what exactly he was talking about. <laughs> you mark my words, Hana Mizuno. I will win this tournament. And when I do, you can bet I will idly mock you the next time I see you at the cafeteria. Bye, Ian. You weirdo. He went back to his seat and slumped down with a huff. Luke leaned over to high-five him, Ian sh but e and Ian shot him a mean look enough to kill a pea plant. I smiled, a small feeling of pride blooming in my chest. Still, there were only two weeks left until the tournament. I had to keep up with my practice, or Ian would make good on that threat. Okay. My hand hovered over the paper, pen in hand. How was I supposed to go about this? I never rejected anybody. I wasn't the kind of girl that people usually went after. Moreover, this guy, whoever he was, he was being a little creepy. I didn't want to say anything that would make him angry, especially considering how many times he'd come to our room unseen in the middle of the night. What if he waited for me one night when I got up and when I got up to use the bathroom? I shuddered. I definitely did not want to hurt his feelings. After 15 minutes, I finally had a reply I kind of liked. Sir. Okay, we're done again. Thank you for these notes. They were very sweet. However, I would prefer it if you no longer sent me any. Please stop giving me these notes. Best. Hana. It was nothing fancy, but I, but hopefully it was good enough. My dad always said, when saying no, don't give it, don't give a reason. Is, is, is he Gibbs? This sounds like a Gibbs rule from, to me. Always be specific when you lie. Okay. <laughs> people tried to people tried to argue at you out of things when you gave reasons. Sometimes even if you didn't. But no means no, and it was much harder to argue with that. Mm, I guess so. With a lump in my throat, I placed the note into an envelope, sealed it, and taped it to the front of my door. Okay. That was that, then. With what a weight off my mind. Transition. After everything PBG went through for the team, it was no wonder he would be cheering them on at every game. I sat next to him, watching his legs tense and twitch as Jeff and Dean sprinted down the field. Ugh. You should have passed it to- Oh, that worked out way better than I thought it would. <laughs> High-pitched voice. Go for the goal, you have the off- Yeah. Yes! Ha! Good job! <laughs> I chuckled quietly next to him. It was hard to get worked up about the game when I was- No, it was hard to get worked up about the game when I was with PBG. He took all the enthusiasm I could have ever had for the sport, sucked it right out of me, and expelled it in a supernova of energy. But it was enough for me just to see that he was enjoying himself. For a while, it looked like... Well, that wasn't important. He was happy, or as happy as he could be without playing. We won! What? What? It's over already. Hana, we won! We're going to the finals! We are? I stared at the jumping PBG in front of me for a few seconds before it clicked. Stop jumping, you're gonna hurt yourself. Yay! Oh my gosh, we're going to the finals! <laughs> we're going to the finals! PBG grabbed my hands and we jumped and cheered together with the rest of the Asagawa students. The two teams shook hands and thanked each other for a good game, and then the strikers piled onto our side of the field, forming a mosh pit of happy athletes. I have to go congratulate them. He disappeared into the crowd immediately. Um, um excuse me, sorry. I forcefully shoved my way out of the stands, which was harder than it sounded. I hated being so dang short. <laughs> by the time I came out, PPG was being hugged by all his teammates. I giggled. I'm so proud of you all. You nailed it. Yeah. We wouldn't have been able to do it without you, bro. Bro. Maybe I should give them a moment. And did you see that faint McJones did? I didn't even know he had it in him. He usually plays a long-term psychological strategy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you're happy. I was a little worried that after all this time, it would still be a little painful to see them playing without you. <sighs> yeah. Oh man, it still is. PVG shoved his hands into his pockets, staring wistfully into the distance as the wind blew through his hair. As happy as I am that we'll be able to go to the finals, it's a bittersweet feeling. He flipped his hair dramatically. Fwah. 
I guess that's just how the sword falls. Hmm. I don't think that's a saying. <laughs> it's definitely a saying. Is it a saying? I shook my head and grabbed PBG's hand. Come on, at this rate we'll miss the late dinner. Uh. Uh. Right. Just tell her how you feel. What was that? A shot. I shot awake with a jolt, staring at a door from across the room. <coughs> Hana, did you hear that? I nodded, then realized she couldn't hear me. Something just slammed full force into our bedroom door. We listened for a while, afraid to move. Oh gosh, is this the secret admirer? Then we heard footsteps dashing away down the corridor. Uh. My... The bunk bed shifted and I saw a dark shape moving down the ladder. Mai appeared next to me. You're okay, right? Yeah, nobody got in. She smiled and turned and glared at the door. The hell? Who the F does this in the middle of the night? She pulled open the door and stepped out into the hallway, craning her neck one way and then another, then turned back to me, her voice low. I don't see anybody here. I don't think anybody else heard it either. I pulled my blankets up around me. Nobody heard it, but Maya and I both did, so there was no way we imagined it. I snuggled down into my blankets. The thin covering made me feel much safer, despite the fact that it did absolutely nothing to protect me. But it protects you from the monsters! Duh! You have to, like, cover yourself in blankets every night or else the monsters will get you! It doesn't make sense, but it does. Ugh. It was probably just a stupid prank. She shut, moved to shut the door, then stopped. <gasps> oh my gosh. What? She lifted a hand to the door, peeling something off of it. Um. Looks like we had a visit from your secret admirer. Uh-oh. Dramatic music. We sh she shut the door, flicked on the light, and crossed over to me. Here. She handed me a blank envelope. I ripped it open and pulled out a sheet of notebook paper, the same familiar scratchy handwriting gracing the front. Okay, down we go. Hana, dearest. Why must you neglect me so? I am so, so sorry if I made you uncomfortable, but I can't hide my feelings any longer. I really care for you, Hana. I won't be so naive as to say I love you, considering how much you don't know about me and how much I haven't had the opportunity to learn about you. But I've been watching you. You're kind, smart, funny, caring. You love your friends deeply and stand up for what is right. Standing up to your fears. You've never be- you even befriended some of the most popular and influential students in the school. In fact, you've grown quite close to some of them. And I really don't like it. Is this the creepy guy from like the second episode of the PBG route who was talking on the radio? Oh my gosh. I don't like this. It's making me jealous. It's driving me insane. I hate seeing you smile at them, and yet I can't bother to reveal myself to try to take their place. I know you're happy with them. You've hardly noticed that I exist, so I know I can't compare. And yet, it's all I can think about. So I ask you, won't you please spend a little less time with them? Please, Hana. I never cared so much about for any one person. For my sake. Love? Your admirer. <gasps> oh man, that's creepy stuff! My? I handed her the note and sat in silence as she read it. Face. Well, it's a little unsettling, but I don't think you should worry about it. No? I shivered and drew the blankets closer around myself. This is a guy, assuming it's a guy, who is so afraid of revealing himself to you that he's apparently won't even talk to you. Do you really think he's gonna do something? I don't know. I... I don't know, but it's... it's scary. Do you think I should tell someone? Uh... uh I don't know. I don't know. Asagawa doesn't have a great track record with dealing with these kinds of situations. What do you mean? What do you mean? What does this school do? Let's just say I knew someone who got a little intense about another person. That person told the staff here what was happening and they 
got almost no response. The crazy behavior was allowed to continue and the students were left to sort it out themselves. When the student turn again turned to the staff talking how they felt in danger, the staff told them it was the student's responsibility to police their own behavior. That's... That's awful. Yes, it is. That doesn't get... That's not how it rolls at Academy of Art. It's... Not something we want to talk about a lot. Asagawa is a really nice place. Obviously it is. You know this by now. But they do a lot of things in effort to save face, so families will keep sending their students someplace as expensive as this. That, unfortunately, includes sweeping a lot of... Mm, incidents under the rug. That is dark. What the hell? Hey, don't worry, things were much, much worse in the past. Nowadays, they've gotten a lot better because the students have behaved more like people. But I am saying that I wouldn't tell the teachers unless there was an actual threat. I don't want you to suddenly get kicked out of the academy because you were trying to cause trouble. And like I said, oops, sorry. Oops, oops. Oops, oops, oops. And like I said, I don't think anything's gonna happen, and if it does, I'll be here to protect you. Maya held up an arm and flexed it. Yeah! I know it seems like a joke, but volleyball really made my arm strong. I could t definitely take someone out. She grinned brightly at me, and I smiled. Thanks, Mai. Anyways, it's late. We should get to sleep. Yeah. She glanced at the door again, then crossed over and locked it. That wasn't locked. Can't be too safe. I have to protect my beloved Hana. And this is why people ship my and Hana so much. Anyway. She shot off the lights and crawled into bed. As my bed creaked and wriggled with Mai's movements, I tried to convince myself that what she said was true. But try as hard as I could, my mind didn't ease. As strong as Mai was, she was still just... a girl. I didn't want to admit it, but men were taller, stronger, faster than women were, and we had no idea who this guy was. If he was someone as tall as PBG, someone who worked out just as much, or was also part of a sports team, even if he was just heavier than Mai, all it would take was would be to pin her on the floor and she wouldn't be able to defend anyone. My heart started beating faster and I shook my head. There's no point to these thoughts. None at all. Still, I usually tossed and turned before going to bed, but I found myself staring at the door as I tucked myself in, facing it as I closed my eyes. Just go to sleep, Hana. Worry about this tomorrow. Well, I'm scared. Well, that seems like an interesting point to end off for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Jen. Thank you so much for watching Asagao Academy, Normal Boots Club. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you want for more. Also be sure to check out links in the video description below for other places on the internet where I tend to dwell and other videos on this channel that you may like. And I'll see you all next time. Bye! I, I think I know where this is going, but I'm still really nervous.